about them cowboys? Yeah! Welcome to Critical Cowboys. And today's content, we'll be talking to you about uh, Jamal Adams to the Dallas Cowboys and if this is a reasonable destination for him. So Jamal Adams has uh, officially requested a trade from the New York Jets. Jamal Adams is an all-pro safety. He is at the top of his game. He's young. He's one of uh, the best number one safeties in today's NFL. He's 24 years old. He has two years left on his deal. That would be his rookie deal. Um, for the Dallas Cowboys, this is a very similar situation for them. This reminds me of the Amari Cooper deal, where Amari in Oakland had a few years left on his deal, on the contract, and it was a risk for the Dallas Cowboys to pull the trigger and trade for Amari Cooper because we, we didn't know if Amari would be able to to sign with the Cowboys, would he sign with the Cowboys or not? Well, in the end, it did pay off for the Cowboys because now they have their number one wide receiver. With Jamal Adams wanting to come to Dallas, he fits the Cowboys on perfectly on the defensive scheme. Right now, all the additions that the Cowboys made, all the moves that they have made, free agency, they still have a pretty good pass rush, pass rush, a good front uh, four or five. They got a good middle linebacking core, but the only part, the only area of this whole entire roster, defense and offense, that scares me, is the secondary. They're super thin on the secondary. I think they don't really have a number one lockdown player, compared to all these um, to all these um, rising teams, to all these contender teams. They at least have a lockdown defender. Um, right now. In the Dallas Cowboys, the Dallas Cowboys secondary, it includes Anthony Brown, Xavier Woods, the newly signed uh, Haha Clinton Dix from the Chicago Bears. He was also with Green Bay with Mike McCarthy. So he got him there. So I think that was a very good addition. That helps the secondary a lot. He's a Pro Bowler. Definitely adds. Um, a veteran presence that secondary needs because that secondary is very young I think they also got Chidobi Awuzie, Jordan Lewis so they got some pieces I just think that Jamal Adams he'll be a lockdown safety and he'll kind of help the whole secondary and then you could you could make the argument that they have at least the number one player in each category whether it be pass rush whether it be middle linebacking whether it be um, in the secondary, wide receiving, running back, offensive line, you could say. So these players on the Dallas Cowboys secondary, I would say they're not really elite, not prime time players. But adding Jamal Adams changes the whole defensive dynamic. It allows the Cowboys to put Jamal Adams against the number one receiver, and creates problems for the opposition and the other team. In addition to trading Lyle Collins. The New York Jets also want a first round pick, probably in the 2021 season. This trade, I think, makes sense for both the Cowboys and the Jets because it fills a need for both teams. The Cowboys need a need in the secondary position. The Jets need, need a need in the offensive line position, in the offensive side of the football. So um, I think it helps both teams as long as the Cowboys don't give up too much for Jamal Adams because we don't we don't want to overpay and we don't want to waste our draft capital right because we want to we want to make sure it's a fair trade for both sides and the other scenario that has been coming up and rumored is Dallas trading Michael Gallup to the New York Jets so Michael Gallup he's a wide receiver he's very young he's 24 years old he is signed through the 2021 season. The Jets want the Jets want control. That's what they want. They want players with control like Lyle Collins and Michael Gallup. So Gallup had an amazing year with a thousand and a hundred and seven yards. He had six touchdowns. He's very versatile. He's a very versatile wide receiver and can do many things on the field with the offense. Gallup can play in the slot. 
He can play outside. Um, he can catch the ball on a one-on-one when being covered by a top cornerback. He is definitely a future star on the offensive side of the ball. This trade is worth it for the Dallas Cowboys, and they don't really lose that much on the offensive side of the field. Because if you look at it, the Dallas Cowboys still have weapons. They still have weapons on the field. They got wide receivers, such as Amari Cooper. The rookie, C.D. Lamb, he's definitely going to be a star on the offensive side of the football. They got the tight end and Blake Jarwin. I think he will have a better season this year because you could give him the ball now. Jason Wynn's gone. He went to Oakland. So now um, they have a, they could focus on the tight end, give him more snaps, give him more plays on Blake Jarwin. They still got running backs. They got one of the best running backs in the NFL in Ezekiel Elliott. They got Tony Pollard still. So these weapons are still good enough for Dak. And they're still um, competable. And they, they're still competitive. And it allows the Cowboys to still be one of the best offenses in the NFL. Along with um, Michael Gallup, rumors have, have been suggesting that the Jets want want a, a first round pick in the 2021 season as well and they either want a third or fourth round pick which kind of makes sense because Michael Gallup is not as big as as big of as a star as Lyle Collins is right now so you have to give up a third and a fourth but for the Dallas Cowboys this trade again it, it makes it makes sense will the Jets actually do it that's the question but for the Dallas Cowboys I think they definitely win this trade because they're not really giving up a number one player in the position. We know the number one star in the wide receiving core is Amari Cooper. So if they ain't giving up Amari Cooper, that should be a win because you still got a number one wide receiver. And even though they're giving up more draft picks, more draft capital, they still do not give up, as I said, a prime time caliber player. They're not giving up um, a major piece in the offensive line. They're not giving up a major piece in the wide receiving core. They're not giving up a major piece in, in that defense. They're giving up a, a second slot receiver in Michael Gallup, which has a trajectory of being one of the, one uh, at least being one of the, the top wide receivers in the NFL. Both these trade scenarios do make sense for both the Cowboys, the Dallas Cowboys, and the New York Jets, I think it's going to come down to if they're able to compromise, can they find a balance, can they find where both teams agree, and ultimately, it's going to be under Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones has the power. If he wants to pull the deal, he will pull the deal. He will pull the trigger and trade for Jamal Adams. We saw it with the Amari Cooper deals. We've just seen it in the past. He'll do it if he thinks it's worth it. And continue to subscribe, like, Comment, tell me which uh, trade scenario would you pull? Is there another one that you would suggest? Leave it down below.